Okay. We're gonna see how to use the motor driver controller board, which I got here. Uh, I've already I've already posted some videos about controlling separate motors, but we went over the simplest thing, and it is how to control a couple of DC motors. Okay, so as you can see in the board, there is uh, two channels for two uh, DC motors. When you control separate, you use these four pins. Okay, the ones for motor A and motor B, and in the middle we have ground V. MS, which is the voltage, the engine, the motors, uh, so work at, and then we have five volts. You can take five volts from your Arduino board. Uh, the ground has to be common, so uh, you have to use the same ground for all of them, and you have to configure which P pulse width modulation pins are you going to use in the Arduino board to command this um, driver, this uh, DC motor controller board. Okay, so I've used pins 2, 3, 4, 5, okay, and here, sorry about how bad a cameraman I am, and these pins go right into in 1, in 2, in 3, in 4, in the controller board. Now, what are the other pins for? What is ENV ENA which we have here well those are in, just in case you want to enable through software the motors whenever you want in case you don't need that and you will you want them all the time enabled just keep these jumpers here on okay I haven't tried it but we'll try it in a minute CSA and CSB I guess it is in case you just want to command the motors from the software. For that you should enable a digital pin from the Arduino board and switch it to high whenever you want it to uh, switch A on or B on regardless of what speed you're going to um, establish with the analog write in the software. Well, that's may maybe too many things. Okay. What we have in the software here is you just need to, um, as always, uh, you can define two digital pins to enable A or O or B, as, uh, it's, as it says here. Okay, and then uh, you have to declare them as outputs. We here we have A on, B on, then you just um, enable. A and B by turning these digital pins to a high state and inside the program just in case you were doing some fancy things you could just turn them off by doing a digital write A on low for example you just will disable motor A but remember for that you should just uh, take out these jumpers and uh, connect a digital pin from your Arduino board to enable A or enable B okay enable B enable A is up here and enable B is down there I don't know if you can see it and I haven't done that because I've when I've, I've written the code for it okay but I, I, I've gone for the simplest example which is just leave them enabled and I and you can do that but by leaving the the jumper zone. Okay, I've repeated that so many times. I think it's clear enough. Now, for the for driving the motors or the DC motors, okay, you need to define um, the pins, okay, and for that you say an arc right low for one pin and the speed you want in the other. Remember here in the analog right we have from 0 to 2 to 255 so in this very simple example I've just turned down one of the pins and hide the other one which, uh, with the analog value okay so uh, we started with 80 then I wait for a second 
and I go 260, wait for a second, then 200, wait for a second, then 255, okay? And finally, I let them go full throttle for three seconds and stop them. There you can see two low, three zero, four low, five zero. What is this low? Okay, you can drive the, the motors just with two pins. So if one pin is low and the other one has a, uh, a analog value, it will turn one way. If you want it to turn the other way, you just have to reverse the values. Okay, so in this case, for example, uh, if I have a two low and three to fifty-five, that's enabled. That's that's driving motor A. If I wanted it, to, if I wanted it to turn the other way, I will just go analog right two two fifty-five. And I'll write three low, okay? So it's easy. As a matter of fact, I've done it here. I've made them turn one way for uh, some time, then I stop them and make them turn the other way. So this is a quite a simple example. And let's see how it runs. Okay, now you will see the program running. It turns clockwise. Full, then it stops and counterclockwise increases until full then it stops clockwise again and all the time like that because it's in the loop you know so let's check if I take out this CSV this motor should stop running ok now they, they're interfering but I'm going to take that out, and since I haven't connected any digital pin from my Arduino to the Enable B, if I take out the CSB, that means that means it will stop, because I'm, I'm uh, bypassing that, but uh, if I take the jumper out, the board will be waiting for a digital input to Enable B, and since I haven't got it, it will stop, okay, so I'm going to take the pin out. And see what happens there you got it see so if you want to command the engines the the motors from the um, from your software you can do it by enabling turning high a digital pin and connecting it to enable a or enable B if you want it to be if you want the if you don't need that and and the motors can be full-time enabled you just Leave the jumpers like that, okay? So I'm gonna put the jumper on and that will enable channel B so that motor starts running again. There you go. Okay guys, thank you. Thanks for the little